Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Hat Yai in the south of Thailand in Songkla. And today I am absolutely ecstatic because we're going to a restaurant and hopefully we're gonna see her cooking. She specializes in literally jacuzzis of goat and beef in curry and also her specialty is a boiled soup of beef bones with a, a sour leaf called chamuang by chamuang. In this video I cannot wait to show you the massive jacuzzis of boiling curry and soup. This place is amazing. We just arrived in the morning at 8 a.m. and she's already gotten started cooking. Uh, she already has added the spices, the aromas are pouring out of the giant woks. Oh man, that's so much meat and she is so awesome cooking over charcoal. Cooking all the, the aromatic, meaty aromas just wafting through here are incredible already. There's six woks going in the front of the restaurant, all bubbling away with different dishes. And then there's even one in the back. She said she's expecting a big day today. Uh, there's a whole goat that they're chopping up, chopping up the whole goat into bite-sized pieces. Oh, <laughs> เยอะๆมาหลายวันหลายวันเยอะเยอะมากครับมาอยู่หน้าไหนพูดได้บุญอันนี้เครื่องแกงแล้วแล้วแล้วพอว่ามันจะถูกแล้วก็ไปที่
so she actually had two pans of beef feet, beef hoofs going. All of that collagen coming out, all of that uh, jelly texture in that skin. Uh, but she's taking that out. She's, she just boiled it in water. She's taking that out. They're gonna somehow chop that and make it into a dish. Um, and then in the, the free pan now, she's gonna boil the cow stomach. An assortment of the beef stomachs go into boil next. And also just her knowledge, her expertise, cooking everything over fire, over charcoal, so you get that slow boil. This is the, the style of cooking that you need, especially when you're cooking quantities of meat like this. The low and slow boil, charcoal, letting it mingle the spices, letting that meat tenderize. Oh man, I don't know if there's anything in the world that makes me more excited than jacuzzis of meat. And six of them, six jacuzzis. Oh, actually, there's seven because there's one in the back. It's like the cry, do I? Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna prepare, I'm gonna put my lemongrass into soup like that from now on. Instead of slicing it or instead of pounding it, she just takes the entire stock, twists it like a rope, like tying a knot into a rope, um, and then just chucks that into the, to the jacuzzi of boiling meat. Oh, it's so fragrant. Um, and then, okay, in goes the, the bai chamuang, the sour leaves. Oh man, and her skills, her technique, that style is unbelievable. She has so much style. The same thing like the lemongrass, she just takes those leaves and just kinda roughly just crumples them, crumples them in her hand to unleash that. Again, that's gonna unleash the flavor, the aromatics, the sourness of those leaves into the broth. Hey, Kaffir limelights go into the, both of the curries, the goat curry and the beef curry, and immediately as she scissor cuts those, that fragrance, that citrusy fragrance come out, comes, is unleashed out of them. Which somebody, she said, somebody pre-booked, somebody ordered yesterday. Oh man, so that's the, the super special menu, but you have to order it a day ahead if you want the head. And she also said, along with the curries, I mean, her top selling dish is the, the boil, but also the hooks. The hooks are, are one of the most popular items here. From here, she's added most of the spices, apart from the coconut milk. Uh, but first, everything needs to boil for an hour or two hours uh, to really tenderize that meat. So we're gonna have a little rest, and then we'll catch up with the curries and the soup in a little while. She adds four kilos, a four kilo bag of freshly squeezed coconut. That's the cream, that's the heavy, buttery, rich cream. And you can just see that looks like a painting, a beautiful goat curry painting. It's gonna make it so rich and thick.
Oh man, and as she continues to stir that and, and nurture, nurture that curry, it's almost unbearable. I'm this far away from just jumping into the jacuzzi and, and swimming. I am not joking, saliva will just be dripping from your lips, just smelling the aroma coming out of here. Back to the hoofs now, which have been boiling all morning long. It's literally turned into a hot tub of melted collagen and fat and skin. The thickness of it as it boils, bubbling lava, the oils, the collagen. Ah, uh, the good Wow. Mm. Okay, it's getting close. It's almost time she lifted the lids on the boiled soup and just immediately this puff of steam with the Garcinia leaves, that sourness. We are getting extra lucky today. We're the first ones here. She's serving us out the first bowls of the day from the massive six, seven jacuzzi pots of boiling meat, cow, and goat. And, oh man, so she said, uh, I mean, she just, just by pure experience, she knows when it's done. She said the meat is bai, meaning it's, uh, it's reached that braised point where it's fall apart tender. Um, and just all that melted fat has come together, all the flavor, so she's gonna dish us one of everything. So, Marie, can you? ผมน่ากินมากอ่ะตุ๊กใส่มาอันนี้ชอบมาลีนี่สุปกระดูกแกงเป๊ะแกงเนื้อเลยมากครับขอบคุณมากๆครับ <coughs> <coughs> There's no way you cannot order everything here, everything they make. So this is their entire menu, everything on the menu, but then they also have kaijiao, uh, an omelet, which she's gonna bring, so we gotta eat it with an omelet. But the flavors, the vibrancy, and their finishing touches is absolutely sensational. The curries here are secondary. Their main dishes, what the restaurant is actually named for, are the soups, uh, especially the bone soup and the, the hoof soup. And the final touch, could not miss out on the kaijiao, the omelet. Now we've completed. This is the full spectrum, every dish that they serve. I have to begin with the soup. You gotta begin with this soup because otherwise it will start to congeal. It was the, the oil will start to form at the top. Look at those pieces of skin and fat. That is, that's pure collagen. And the chilies, the shallots, it's unbelievably fragrant. Oh, wow. Okay, hands down on first bite. I think that might be the best beef soup I've ever had in my life. Oh, wow. That thickness, it's almost like a gravy in consistency because of the, the way it's melted down the collagen into that broth. It's so meaty. The amazing acidity of the lime juice and the fresh chilies just cuts down the, the heaviness of it. Let me find some of the wiggly bits. Oh yeah, that is some, some serious jiggly bits. But the whole, look at the amount of chilies she, she added in here. Oh man, no, not joking around. Oh, wow. That melts in your mouth. Oh. oh man, those chilies, like they put out, as soon as you bite them, they pop and just unleash chili fumes into the back of your throat. Okay, I'm gonna take a time out and try the curry. <laughs> Look at the rich, again, the richness of that. The natural oils of the goat, the goat oils have come out. Mixing with the coconut milk, it's so rich, it's so heavy. Onto my rice. Oh, oh, it's so tender. Oh, look at that meat on the inside. So incredibly, incredibly tender. She made an entire goat of curry today. Oh, wow. The tenderness of that. It just falls apart on your tongue. The just subtle 
spicious aroma and the richness of that coconut milk, the dry chilies in there, the lemongrass, the kaffir lime leaves. Next up, we gotta try, this is the, this is actually the signature dish, I think, with the, with the bones, with the chamuang garcinia leaves, and then prepared the same way as those hoofs with the chilies, with the lime juice. Just massive. These are not green beans. These are all chilies in here that she added, that she hooked us up with. That is a ton of chilies. Um, oh man, okay, I just gotta taste that broth. And these chilies, like, they just erupt with spice in your mouth, just like, like almost like gaseous fumes of chilies unleashed onto the back of your throat when you bite down. Oh, wow. All the spice, the shallots. <laughs> that is powerful. Oh, and the extra depth of sourness from the Garcinia leaves. Sourness on top of sourness, on top of richness, saltiness, the flavor of the meat. Oh, it's sensational. The best beef soup I've had in Thailand. Maybe in the world. Oh man, she has just set the standard. It's tender too, but it comes from a different part of the, the it's the bones, so it's kind of a little more of a, a chewier texture, but it's just absorbed that sourness, that broth, the lemongrass, the aromatics in there. It's sensational. We have to explore the last, the other protein. Set this down here. Now we add some of the broth with some of the chilies. All of those chilies. Oh man, with the omelet, with a little bit of rice and the broth. What a bite. Oh wow. The fluffiness of that omelet. Okay, moving on to the beef curry. I totally almost forgot about the beef curry. Wow, that is awesome, dude. Mm. It's a bit stronger of a dry spice flavor to it. The cumin, the coriander seed, the turmeric, the richness again of the of the melted fat and the coconut milk. Not sweet at all, but just sharp, sharply spicious and salty. And then the last dish we have is the organs, which this is a little bit of a different recipe. Oh, it's mostly intestines, and I think there's some stomach in here too. Um, but there's uh, bean sprouts, and then she added in a like a, a chili sauce vinegar. Mm. Every single dish is all-star status, is next level, is like the best version of every dish that you've had. Last component of this meal, in Southern Thailand, you always get a plate of raw vegetables to garnish. These are cashew tree leaves. Oh yeah. That's when you really, really need to cleanse your palate. It's chalky, almost soapy tasting. And then stink beans, one of my favorite single ingredients on planet Earth. Pop these guys out. Okay, and now we're ready to go for another round. This soup is literally beyond belief. The skin, the fat, the chilies. circling back to the beef curry. That beef curry is standout too. One of the best beef curries I've had in Thailand. Unbelievable. I think the black pepper flavor to it. Kakao aloy marka. She is the, the one. She's a, a culinary hero. The best of the best. And her friendliness, her kindness, her hospitality, she's so She's so nice, unbelievably nice. This combination with the omelet is dangerously good. And the omelet and the soup. The amount of chilies at the bottom here floating around is impressive.
the hardest part about eating this meal is balancing everything on your spoon and add just a little more, a little more broth to let that omelet soak it up for good measure. Wow, that is gonna be a sponge. Yeah, and those chilies are no joke. Man, they're spicy. And the quantity of them. And it might, if you come get a closer look at my face, it might look like I just went swimming or just washed, took a shower. <laughs> Maybe just took a shower. But that is a combination of the chilies, the humidity, and the meat sweats, the digestive sweats. Shirt is just completely drenched. Now that's the sign of a successful meal. What a meal. Not only will the quantity blow you away and the way she cooks and her method but the taste is out of this world it's out of control flavor that is just pure excitement for your tongue for your mouth your your tongue will never forget that flavor especially of that soup but the curries are everything she makes is outstanding i don't think i mentioned it before but the restaurant is called ran jaya jiao gao and it's right in hat yai actually Actually more like on the outskirts of Hat Yai in Songkla in southern Thailand, right across the street from one of the big, big seas of Hat Yai. If I lived in Hat Yai, I think I might be here every day. It's that good. Oh man, what a restaurant. I love everything about this place. When you're in Hat Yai, come here for lunch. Don't miss out. They open at 11.30 a.m. Uh, I think sell until sold out. And that's gonna wrap up this video. I want to say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Wow. I will see you on the next video.